Hello YouTube users, in this action script video tutorial, I will be teaching you about symbols, instance names, and how to interact with movie clips, and how to set up your flash document so that you can write action script code in it. Okay, so first of all, in order for you to interact with a movie clip, you need to give it an instance name. So I have some movie clips here. They're all just simple shapes. I'm going to drag my box into the stage. Now if you click on your movie clip and look into the properties panel, then you should see a text area that says instance name. So I'm going to give it an instance name so I can interact with it with code. I'll call it box underscore MC. The underscore MC at the end means movie clip. You don't have to put the underscore MC, but it's a standard method that most people use. And it helps you recognize what are the movie clips when you are coding. Now I'm going to open up my actions panel by going to window actions. Or you can press F9 on the keyboard. Now we're going to communicate to the box with code. And for us to do that, we need to refer to its instance name and not its library name. So I'm going to type box underscore MC and then a dot. Now we can change some of its properties such as its transparency, its position, its rotation or size. Let's start with its size. Type scale X equals 2. And I'll test the movie by going to File, Publish Preview. Now you can see that the length of the box is twice as long. Let's make it taller too. Type box underscore mc dot scale y equals 2. Test the Flash movie. I know it's twice as high too. Now I'll show you how to change the position of a movie clip. I'll bring a circle to my stage and give it an instance name of circle underscore MC. Now I'll go to my actions panel by going to window actions. Now I'll type circle underscore mc dot and this time I'll just put an x which will refer to its x position on the stage equals zero and circle underscore mc dot y equals zero. Now I'll test it. The circle is at the top left of the screen, which is in fact zero zero. Now I'll put it in the center of the stage. I'll change this zero to two seventy five and this zero to two hundred and test it again. Now the circle is in the center, but a better way to do that is by taking the stage width and stage height and dividing it by 2. So for the X position, I'm going to type stage dot stage width divided by 2. And for the Y position, I'm going to type stage dot stage height divided by 2. Now let's change the rotation of an object. This time I'm going to use my arrow because it will point the direction for us. 
I'm going to call it uh, RO underscore MC and then I'll go into my actions panel. I'm going to type uh, RO underscore MC dot rotation equals 90. Test. And now you can see that the arrow has rotated 90 degrees. Let's try some other values. 180. Test. Minus 180. Test. Same thing. Two seventy. Minus ninety. Same thing. Last we'll do transparency. I'll just use the box for this. Type box underscore mc dot alpha full transparency is zero and full opacity is one so i'm going to make it 50 percent transparency by putting 0 0.5 and test i hope this tutorial helped in your understanding of action script stay tuned for more tutorials bye